Laszlo Carlo, once known as a famous actor, though after injecting himself with an experimental formula, his form would be altered into a mutated shapeshifter. Ultimately, he would go on to become one of Batman's most notorious villains. McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Rebirth, Clayface, up next on T's Multiverse. Welcome to T's Multiverse. I'm your host, Tyrus, and today we get to take a look at the infamous McFarlane Toys DC Rebirth Clayface, a.k.a. Poop Man. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I, you know, everybody's saying that man look like poop, and he does look like poop. But there is a lot to really take in and enjoy about this figure. And there's some things that really hold it back from being as great as it can be. So we'll get into all that, but it, there's just no denying what this man looked like. Honestly, they stayed true to what it looked like in the comics. I mean, that Rebirth comic, more or less, this is what this figure looked like. Though, I feel like they should have went maybe in a different direction. Maybe a lot of painted deco. There's a lot of direction. And as a Batman fan that I wish they would have went in, in terms of this figure, but it doesn't make it a bad figure at all. I mean, like I said, again, there's some things that you really can enjoy and appreciate as a collector of the McFarlane toys, and especially as a Batman fan with this Clayface figure. All right, but let's take a look at what this Clayface comes with. So he comes with the collector's car here with Clayface looking all creepy and looking like he's from some sort of a horror movie or now his eyes are glowing. Now, this figure's eyes do not glow. That would have been an awesome feature. Now, that might be something McFarlane Toys might add as part of a gold label release. Who knows? We'll see. You know how you know how McFarlane rolled with all these figures. You just never know what he might re-release. And then on the back, we have the data file. And then we have the trusty DC McFarlane display stand. And now, let's take a look at Clayface. Okay. So, uh... This is a very hollow figure. And that's something that I did not anticipate. I mean, it's, you hear that? He is super hollow. And in some areas, he has soft plastic, which will allow for posability, which is awesome. Okay? Now, the thing that I wish that this figure had is swappable hands. That's the thing that holds this figure up back. Playface's calling card is the fact that he can mold not only his body, but his hands into a variety of weapon constructs. So maces, axes, some sort of blade construct or, or spike mace. I mean, that is Clayface's calling card. So don't know why McFarlane Toys did not add that as a swappable hand with a figure like this, especially at the price point that they're having this figure at. I mean, you, I really wish they would have added some swappable hands. That would have been awesome. But aside from that, the detail and the texture lends a lot to this figure. I mean, look at all the texture detail here. And the thing that I like is you can see like skulls within the clay faces body mold. You know, I mean, he takes various forms and that's what this symbolizes. So you see the skull here. You see also, man, you can see a little hand. So you can see hands here trying to reach out of the clay face. You see an arm. That is awesome. I mean, the, the attention to detail on this figure is magnificent. I mean, I, you know, despite what he may or may not look like, I like the fact that they captured the various skulls, the hands, the arms that are seemingly reaching out of this Clayface character here. And then you have the spikes and just, just various layers of just different types of texturing throughout this Clayface figure, which is pretty cool. I like that. And again, you see the little skull imprints here all over his body, which really is an awesome feature. And another thing is that he has a mouth that is articulated. So that's a pretty cool feature. See the detail here inside his mouth, a little missing teeth here and everything. He has a 
red all this gums all red and everything this guy just a he's just a hot mess all over man i mean he's just like a hot mess but i like that articulated mouth nice detail and design with what what teeth he has left <laughs> he ain't got many teeth left but uh he got some i mean if you call it teeth i don't know what that is but yeah light nice detail here it would have been awesome if they would have made the eyes white you know to kind of bring the character out a little bit more but you see on the hand here that the clay that's kind of like pulling from one end to the other between his thumb and his hand. I like that type of stuff, you know? So that, I like those things, I, I appreciate those types of details and things like that I appreciate with a figure such as this. But yeah, this figure looks pretty solid all the way overall, man. You know, the detail here, this soft goods here again, here in the lower areas so that you can pose them. And we'll, we'll test that out later. Soft goods here. And then this is this hollow. This area here is hollow. But overall, I mean, this is a pretty, pretty cool figure. I mean, it's it's not my most favorite version of Clayface. I like, I'm more for the Batman the Animated Series Clayface. That's the one that I like. Lighter color deco and the layer detail that the, that version has works better. You know, but this is based off the Rebirth version of Clayface. All right, so let's take a look at Clayface's articulation. I'm gonna back him because he's a big guy. That's the one thing, that's the one positive about this figure is that he is a big one. He's a nice mega deluxe figure that you can pit against the Batman, the Bat family. He does stand out on the shelf for sure, man. This guy has a presence, and that's the thing that I like. So we do know that he has an articulated mouth here, which is, works, works really well, and can go up and down like that. Not a lot of articulation here in the hand area. I mean, he can go from side to side. He can go all the way around, which is cool, so that's fine. Not a lot of articulation with this figure due to the fact that, you know, he's a big bulky hulking figure you're not going to be placing this guy in a lot of dynamic poses like a batman or spider-man but i do feel like with the plastic areas that they've placed within uh clayface's body mold that you'll be able to put him into some pretty cool poses so okay head articulations okay mouth articulation super awesome uh arms here you know he can go up here and go all the way around which is really cool. You can only go so far with the elbow on arm articulation here. So you can go around with the wrist articulation. He's just super tight. I did not heat him up or anything for this review. And then you can, the wrist area can go down. So, you know, uh, you know, uh, decent articulation. I don't, I don't expect this guy to be the most articulated. So I'm not disappointed at all that. And then we have the upper torso articulation for this figure. And then he can go a little shift in a little bit. Let's see if we can go around. He can go around. In terms of articulating this figure from the waist up, as I tried to do, it's gonna cause for this weird gap to form. And that's because they have this diaper area here, but this makes for a bit of a, of a weird combination to have this diaper area, another soft, and then this right here as a hard. As far as the leg articulation, he can only go back so much. Again, due to the scoped detail of the clay and everything, he can only go up so much. So not a lot of articulation here in the knee area and no articulation here in the foot. Overall, I mean, I did not expect for this figure to be the most articulated, uh, though that did not disappoint me at all. The one negative that I see with this figure is how this area was handled. Uh, like I said, that soft diaper area and then another soft plastic area just does not mesh well. And it creates this gapping hole that we see here within the figure. So I feel like this, again, this should have been one solid area. And then maybe this should have been maybe a soft goods. That way you wouldn't have this gaping hole that you have within this figure here. Uh, that you see. Uh, again, this is not my most favorite version of the, of the clay face, but it works. It works. It really works. And uh, I like it for what it is. I mean, this is a, just a big bulky figure that you can place 
within your Batman collection, you know, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm happy with that. You know, we're getting uh, Man Bat and we're also getting Killer Croc. So we're really rounding out that uh, Batman's Rose Gallery of like mega deluxe figures. So that's really exciting. And again, you know, ho hopefully, you know, you never know. We might get a Batman animated series Clayface. You know, you never know, but I'm happy with this one. I'll take it for what it is. Could have been, could it have been better? Yes. Uh, due to how they handled this area here in the midsection, uh, lack of swappable hands, that was a big minus. You know, that is Clayface's calling card. You have to give him swappable weapon constructs because that's what he's known for. So another thing I feel they could have added is a swappable head. You know, he does take various forms. So maybe, you know, give him different head scopes of characters and people from the DC universe, that would have been a fun addition. So there's a variety of things as a mega deluxe figure at this price point that they should have added. I know if they did, it would have pushed the price point up even more so. But overall, I feel like they should have at least added some swappable hands. So this piece here comes from the Marvel Select Sandman. And this is something that I wish that our Clayface had come with. You know, it would have been awesome to get something like this. You know, I even thought about trying to attach this, but it's just, I don't know if it'll go. I probably need some sort of glue or whatever, but uh, it'll have been awesome if we've got something like this and a blade or again, something else weaponized that in clay form that we can attach to clay face, but uh, it is what it is. But huge shout out to the Batman animated series, uh, Feed a Clay episode, which is one of my most favorite uh, to this day, man. And it was Clayface's debut episode. So, uh, huge shout out to that one, man. But, um, let's get this guy posed up and let's get him ready for the next segment. All right. Let's see what I can do with Clayface because again, he's, you know, little, he's a little clunky. Uh, let's see. Um, I can do something with Clayface. Clayface said, man, don't act like you can't pose. You can do something with me. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, Mr. Clayface. All right. I think I got him. I think I got him. <laughs> I think I got him posed the way I want. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I like that right there. Oh, let's see if I can get him to stay. Okay, cool. I'm cool with that. I like that. It's like it's coming at you. Yeah, I like that. All right, here comes the clay face. Somebody called the Batman. <laughs> All right, let's get on to the next. All right, it's that time again. It's comparison time. And here I have the DC Rebirth Swamp Thing with the clay face. I have a review up on the channel for Swamp Thing, so be sure to check it out. I have a link in the description below, but here I have two big mega deluxe heavy hitters side by side. And here we have Clayface with the McFarlane Toys DC Rebirth Superman, the Man of Steel. And here from McFarlane Toys, we got some more DC Rebirth action going on here with our endless winter wave Aquaman our Martian Manhunter, and the new Rebirth Batman figure. Now, I have reviews up on the channel for all three of these figures, so be sure to check it out. But, man, this looks awesome. It's so cool to see just how big this Clayface is compared to our standard DC Multiverse figures. And here we have one of my most favorite figures, period, in the Marvel Legends Surter. And, man, <laughs> This Surtur, he is towering over old Clayface here, man. This guy is tall, man. It, he is a phenomenal figure. This has to be one of the tallest figures that I have. But I got a little bit of fire, and I got a little bit of clay here. And when you mix the two, what do you get? All right, <laughs> let's get on to the next. And I got another heavy hitter coming at you in the form of the Marvel Legends Incredible Hulk. Yet another phenomenal figure from within my collection. I absolutely love this Incredible Hulk. It'd be awesome to see these two go at it in battle. 
Though I feel in the end, the Incredible Hulk will take this guy out hands down. But folks, let me know in the comments who wins between the Incredible Hulk and Clayface. Cast your votes in now. All right, folks, that's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the review. Huge shout out, as always, to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for all of your support. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And for those of you who haven't subscribed to the channel, or if this is your first time watching my videos, I'd like to ask that you subscribe. Hit that subscription button. Also, folks, hit that like button. It will really help the channel. Smash that bell notification so that you are notified for when my videos do drop. And if you did all that, I appreciate it. And until next time, folks, be good to one another. Be safe. Stay tuned. Same bad time, same bad channel. And oh yeah, by the way, watch out for the clay face. Rawr! Until next time, folks. Bye for now.